While exploring the tones I could get from the metal scaffolding, I got the idea to record these sounds as well and use them for a custom percussive drum rack. This way I'd be able to create all sorts of rhythmic loops and variations in the comfort of my own studio. I imported and edited each sound, truncating them to individual single hit samples. You can do all your editing in live, but I often prefer to use an external sample editor for a few good reasons. I'll start by choosing my default sample editor. You'll find it under Preferences, File Folder, Sample Editor. Select the Browse button and navigate to your application folder to select your editor of choice. I'll choose Audacity. It's a free, easy-to-use, multi-track audio editor and recorder for Windows, Mac OS X, Linux, and other operating systems. I recommend downloading a copy if you're in need of a decent third-party editor. To send your clips from live to an external editor, choose the Edit button from the sample box. This will automatically launch your default application or prompt you to choose one if you haven't already. In the external editor, I'll select portions of the audio I want to extract and copy and paste it to a new editor window. Since this clip should be mono but was recorded with a stereo field recorder, I'll convert stereo to mono by selecting it in the drop-down menu. Be sure to remove any extra unwanted portions of audio for the start and tail, making sure not to cut off any of the decay. Another advantage to using an editor like Audacity is that I can write effects directly to the WAV file. To demonstrate, I'll add one of the processing effects included. I'll preview and write the echo effect. I'll not be needing that, so I'll just go ahead and undo. To save on time, I've gone ahead and chopped up all of the hits. During this process, I adjusted the clip volume slightly to make them a bit more even sounding. I also EQ'd them a tad bit to attenuate some of the less wanted frequencies. From here, you can export, rename, and save your new audio clips to a dedicated folder. And now for the drum rack. You can create a MIDI track or just double click the device in the browser to instantiate it. I'll locate the folder where I've saved each of the single hit samples. Here's what they sound like as I audition through them. I can load them all at once by shift selecting and then dragging them to the drum rack. I can now play these back using my push controller. I've gone ahead once again and prepped a drum rack, effects chain, and recorded a few MIDI sequences. Let me delete these demo tracks first and then play back the clips. On the track itself, I've added a slight amount of glue compression to help the samples sit slightly better together as an instrument. Additionally, to give the kit a little more dimension, I'll turn on Echo Boy for some reverb effect. If I add an additional resonator device, fittingly enough, I'll use the Berlin preset. It turns the percussion into a very nice sounding tech type groove. I just can't resist the opportunity to throw in some fat four on the floor dance beats.
There you have it. Bringing junk beats to the dance floor can be just that simple.